All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to go over how to structure your URLs for SEO to get your website to rank better. So firstly, when it comes to URLs, URLs are one of the most important aspects of on-page SEO. The URL is the very first thing that Google sees and analyzes before anything else on your site. So the clearer you can make the URL to what the page is actually about, the better it's going to be for you and the higher you're likely to rank. So I cannot overemphasize how important URLs are. You really need to get them right when it comes to your website. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to to show you a couple of examples of good and bad URLs and things you should do in order to optimize yours. So a couple of best practices for URLs. You want to make sure that you include the keywords that you actually want to rank for. You want to keep the URL as short as possible overall. So the whole URL as well as the, the slug of the specific page. You also don't want to double up on keywords. So you don't want to over optimize the URL. You want to make the intent of the page super clear. And I'm going to go into that in a minute. And you also want to have as few folders as possible. I'm also going to go into that into a minute. By folders, I mean like slash something slash something else slash something else. Each thing after the slash is what's considered a folder and you want to have as less of them as you can. So different URL structures that you can use for SEO. So there's two key distinctions when it comes to optimizing your URLs. Is the keyword in the URL or not in the main domain? So if you have something like plumbers.com, it's going to be a different rule set you need to follow than if you have for instance, your brand.com. And if your brand doesn't include the word plumbers. So let's say for instance, your brand is called like pdb.com. I'm just making something up. You don't have the keyword plumber in there. So you don't have to worry about including it too many times. If your keyword is like plumbers in tampa.com or tampaplumbing.com, you now need to be careful because you have that keyword in your URL. And so there's two sets of rules here. I'm going to go over them. So if you have the keyword in the URL, here is the example of the best URL structures you can go with. So with the keyword in the URL, basically, I'm going to use the example of location and service largely applies the same. But here, for instance, if we've got plumbers.com slash Tampa, it's pretty clear what the intent of this page is. It's clearly a plumber and it's talking about the service in Tampa. And so like plumbing in Tampa, or plumbers in Tampa. And so therefore, this URL is a good structure that you can use. It's, it's one of the best, basically. The second one is is Tampa, Florida, like Tampa dash FL. That's perfectly fine as well. If this is the keyword, people search like plumbers, Tampa FL or Tampa FL plumbers. You can definitely include that there. There's no reason why you can't do that as well. And if we're talking about the service, then in this case, you would have plumbers.com slash emergency plumbing. Now, the reason I'm including emergency plumbing, even though we have the keyword plumber is one, it's a variation of that keyword. But two, if you were to just do slash emergency, and I'm going to give this example, a little bit further down, the issue you have is that it's not 100% clear what we're talking about here. Is it emergency inspections? Is it emergency plumbing? Is it some other type of emergency? It's not 100% clear what that actually means. And so therefore, you would include the keyword in that one just to be 100% safe. So you want to keep that in mind. Now, if you've got the brand name keyword, now if you've got the brand domain without the keyword, you would want to include the keyword plumbing in the slug of the page. So you'd have plumbing Tampa, Florida. Otherwise, if you just put Tampa or Tampa, Florida, and the keyword's not in the main domain, Google's not necessarily going to know what that means just by scanning the URL. So you have to keep that in mind because the first thing Google does is it scans the URL to see what it says. And so if it doesn't say what's happening, it won't know what the page is about and that's going to reduce your relevance. So what you need to make sure is to keep that in there. And this is why I have included this as the best example for this. Now, if we're talking about emergency plumbing, you could also do brand.com slash emergency plumbing. That would be fine as well obviously for the emergency planning page. Now, a couple of examples of other good versions of URLs, you could do it as a subfolder type arrangement like this. So you could have plumbing.com, plumbers.com slash plumbing slash Florida slash Tampa. That's okay. You could do that and it would serve the same purpose. And the same thing with plumbers.com slash plumbing slash emergency for emergency plumbing. You could do that as well and it would serve the same purpose. So that would be fine. Otherwise for the brand name URL, you could do brand.com slash plumbing slash Florida slash Tampa or same thing with the emergency. You could do slash plumbing slash emergency. And those would be another acceptable way to structure your URLs. This is ultimately the best, cleanest way to do it. And the one that will cause the least amount of complications for you as a user and just in general. However, this will also
also work as long as you don't double up too many times. Now, I'm going to go into what I mean by that in a minute, but we'll go with the okay versions as well. So a couple other versions that are okay would be having slash service in there as well. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't think it's really going to do you any favors as such from a keyword perspective, but I don't think it's going to cause you any hindrance either. So you could have the exact same structure, but with service in there, or let's say slash location and slash Tampa or something like that. And that would be fine as well. Same with the brand one, you could have slash service slash plumbing slash Tampa and that would be fine too. Now, a couple of examples of URLs that are not good. So let's say for the plumbers.com URL, if you were to do plumbers.com slash plumbing slash plumbing Tampa, Florida. Now what's happening is you've got the keyword or a variation of the keyword three times in here. And you don't want to do this because this is just starting to look over optimized. And when this happens, Google's going to know that someone's trying to, you know, essentially manipulate their systems. And so you're more likely to have issues when it comes to ranking as a result. Result. Now, another example of that would be having plumbers.com slash plumbing slash plumbing Florida slash plumbing Tampa. This one is really overdoing it. You definitely would not want to have this because you've got the keyword in there four times. It's not going to help. Trust me that that's not going to do you any favors. This one as well slash plumbing slash emergency plumbing. Again, you're doubling up on the keyword plus the keyword domain. It might not cause you problems, but it won't do you any favors. So you should avoid doing this. Again, another example of the slash service. If you have slash plumbing slash emergency plumbing again with the domain it's too much and now this one plumbers.com slash emergency this one's not clear enough what the intent is that's the only issue with this one you could theoretically get away with this one but you risk it not being as relevant simply because you're not stating what emergency it is it could be a different kind of emergency gas fitting emergency or something else and as a result it's not 100 percent clear what this page actually is for and that's why i put it under the not good section now a couple of examples for the brand name for example brandname.com slash Tampa. If you don't have the keyword plumber in there, this literally means nothing to Google. Yes, they'll know it's Tampa, but what service or what, what is it about in Tampa? Are you just talking about Tampa in general as an area? You see the problem? So that's why this one is here. And the same issue you have here, as I mentioned previously, you're doubling up on keywords for no necessary reason other than you're looking like you're over-optimized. So in this case, you'd want to do slash plumbing slash Tampa, Florida, instead of having plumbing twice. So hopefully that gives you an example of of how you should structure your URLs. Ultimately, like I said, the cleanest structure and the easiest one to do. So typically speaking, I just use this format and it just makes life very, very easy. If you have any questions about any of this or comments, put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Otherwise, if you'd like me to coach you on how to do SEO and Google ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do the SEO or Google ads for your business, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.